Good evening, everyone. Nigon here from Nigon's Electronic Creations, along with my assistant, uh, Master Footman, and we're going to be doing another uh, Features of Igniter video here. And continuing in the same vein, I'm going to sort of go over the last most important uh, Saber app uh, currently that exists, and that's the Motion Editor. So we've gone through the Color Editor for Igniter, um, and, and then we went through the uh, Color Set Editor, uh, for Spark Color 2 and of course Spark Color 2 as an app on Igniter. Uh, now we're going to go over the Motion Editor and this app is pretty much exactly the same um, on Igniter as it is for Spark Color 2. And note that when you edit this for um, Igniter it also edits the setting for Spark Color 2 uh, the app. You don't have to like go to a separate app. You go to this one app, it edits the motion for your whole saber for um, pretty much all the apps in fact. Like even the motion settings uh, take effect for the um, Saber Says game and pretty much every app. All right, so let's go over it. Again, just like uh, always, we need to get to the Saber Apps menu. So my Saber is booted this time. And so I can hold it. Saber this. Apps. Um, so now I'm in Saber Apps, so I can push the aux till I hear Motion Editor. Color Editor. Motion Editor. Uh, so that's what I want. So I'll press the main button to load the Motion Editor app. Motion Editor. Press and hold the aux button at any time to hear the instructions. Okay, so now I'm basically in the motion editor here. So I can just push the main button and get going. So now what it is is I am uh, I can edit through all five motion parameters. It's swing, uh, threshold, slash threshold, clash threshold. Uh, then there's the two gyro parameters. There's the gyro X and gyro YZ. Those are related to the dual phase and they're related to how hard it is. Um, let's start going over it when we get to those. I'll explain those a bit more. Uh, so first is the swing, which is pretty easy. Right now I have it set I believe from like 40 or 50. So you can see just a little, I like it like really sensitive, so like a little motion. See if you can hear I can even trigger it twice almost. I, I kind of like that. Maybe you don't, maybe someone else doesn't like that. So let's let's watch with the difference. If we start, at, if we start, uh, Increasing it. So we press the aux button. You heard 50, so now it's at 60. Keep going. 100. So now it's at 100. So now let's try it again. So, so you can see it's it's still pretty sensitive. So let's go to like 200. 150. 200. So now we're at 200. See, it's not it's not as sensitive. 255. And now that's 255. And you can see at 255, it's like, it takes a lot of work to actually make it swing. So this gives you some, you know, configurability, and this is how you can uh, actually play it immediately as you're doing it. So maybe, oh, no, that's not too hard. Let's go, like, zero, really low. And this is like, you can hear it's like just, just so sensitive, it'll pick up two swings, so, which is, you know, if you start spinning it. If you like that really, you know, like spinning sound, you can just do that. But I like it a little more like 50. 50. And you can see, it still swings pretty well doing a twirl, but I don't get as much of the double swing like this. And it's still easy to trigger, which is, that's pretty much how I like it. So let's go to the next setting. So to go to the next setting, um, and actually I'm going to skip the next one and go right to the clash because slash isn't that interesting. But to go to the next settings, what you do is you hold the aux and do a swing. It's just like a going to the next uh, 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 parameter to edit for the color editor. The um, Specifically like, you know, going from like blade to clash. It's the same thing here. You just hold the aux and swing clash it. Clash threshold. So that's slash. I want to do it one more time. Clash threshold. So now I'm on clash threshold. And... Uh, now I'm going to edit this. So let's see what I'm on here. 50. So I'm on I, I'm on 50. Actually, that's... For me, that's a little low. I like it closer to like 80 to 100. So, and I don't... Unfortunately, I don't have this on camera. And this is normally kind of like this. But, uh... You can see... It. Hands don't really trigger it that well, I found. I like to use, you know, use an object. And that one... Like on the ground, you can see it triggers pretty well. Uh, but let's increase it more to see what it does. 100. 150. So now it takes more of a like impact. 
And I definitely take a pretty hard whack here to trigger it, right? See? It takes a big whack on the ground. And if I go up higher, obviously it's going to be like impossible to trigger with your hand. Oh, still can do it. If you really try, you can do it. On the ground, of course, you can always do it with carpet. Now let's go back around to like zero. See, now I should be able to trigger it sort of just with my hand. Whoops. And I just turned it off. Um, but let's let's go back to that. Okay, so here's the motion editor. Let's go back to... Um, so that, those settings saves, because what happened was when I was clashing there, I held down the button and turned off my saber. Whoops. So let's keep going. Slash clash threshold. Uh, so let's, let's increase it back to like 50 before I forget. 50. So that gives you uh, options there. So now let's keep going. I'm going to uh, switch here to the next, the gyro one. Gyro X threshold. Okay, so that's gyro X. So what gyro X is, is the amount of velocity it takes to make this motion. And you can see I can do the motion, so it gives me a sense. So you can see here, like if I do it, it's not super easy to trigger it. So let's, let's try like, so increasing it will make it harder. So I want to go like back around. So now it should be really a lot easier. It's a little bit easier. Um, the setting, though, to me that really makes the most effect is the next one. Gyro YZ threshold. And so YZ threshold means how much of this motion, like up and down and side to side, uh, will it allow. In this setting, uh, the bigger number actually makes it more sensitive because it allows more variation. So now it should be extremely easy to trigger. So you can hear most of the time I'm doing the dual phase motion because it's quite easy to trigger. So this is maybe what you want like using spark color um, if you have the uh, settings where you have to hold the aux to do it because when you hold the aux it's fine if it's really easy to trigger. Um, whereas maybe with uh, if you're using just igniter or something maybe you want to go down more. Zero. So I like this one pretty high actually because I like it easy to do. 100. Like 150. 150. So, and then when I'm done, I just hold the button like I did accidentally already. Saber apps. Um, it goes. This is the one program it does automatically go back to save apps for you because I figure once you're once you've saved these motion settings, you're fine. Um, unlike the color editor, because I think it'd be annoying. You want to edit a lot of colors in a row. You don't want to like go back to this menu to reload the color editor. Uh, but in this one, I figure you've edited all the settings. You're done when it, the blade sucks in, it goes back to the apps menu, and then you can just go back to Igniter and use the Saber, or even Spark Color on Igniter. Alright, hope that was helpful, and I'll see you guys on the Facebook and forums.